What's up, YouTube? Diggy546. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you want more Lakers content. Like the video if you like the video. And I won't tell if you click that bell. But let's go ahead and get into this. So one thing we realized was the Blazers score really quickly. They score easily. They have a lot of people who can score. They don't really have too many defenders besides Whiteside. But we need to be able to defend them. We were able to defend them for, like, for Dame. The first half he went off that third quarter and I think he didn't even get a field goal in that third quarter all the way until like the middle of the fourth quarter we did a really good job defending him we can switch pretty much up and down the floor we can pretty much switch because AD did a really great job on Dame a couple of times but we're not switching aggressively consistently we have Kuzma sometimes he's just lost on one side of the floor in the zone there's no one over there he's covering air you have AD sometimes slow on rotation, and then you're giving up wide open dunks. We need to be able to switch aggressively, because if we can't do that against the Blazers, they're gonna get a lot of open shots, and you know they're gonna hit them. What you have to do, you have to make this a physical game. You have to win the rebounding battle, which we did, but we should have won it by more. You have to get inside, you have to slow the game down, because if you just give them possession after possession, they're going to continue to hit these shots. That's what they do. That's their strength. You can't give them all of these possessions because Dame is a streaky player. Melo, even at this stage, is, is, is he, he's a streaky player. CJ is a streaky player. Gary Trent Jr., they all have to get into rhythms. And once you give them a possession here and then you turn the ball over or you give them a possession here and you brick a, a shot or you air ball a shot or whatever you decide to do, you need to slow the game down because if you let them get into a rhythm, they're gonna shoot and shoot and shoot and there's really nothing you can do at that point. The Lakers' biggest issue by far yesterday was we weren't hitting our shots. We had so many wide open shots, just like probably the last three weeks, we've had open shots and we're missing these shots. Danny Green wide open in the corner so many times. The first time, I think he missed like two shots to start the game and then LeBron passed it to him on another wide open shot and he hesitated and then he shot an air ball. So this is getting to these people's heads and he was two for eight from three. KCP was zero for nine from the field. He made one free throw. This is not good enough. They're not stars, but you need something from them. KCP zero for nine and you're not even doing a really good job defending. So, I mean, we need a lot more from these supporting players. You can't just have all of these shots breaking and breaking wide open threes. This is 2020. You have to be able to shoot three pointers. So what I'm looking for to solve this is we didn't see Quinn Cook. I don't think we saw Deion Waiters too much. And Rondo is coming back soon. Rondo's gonna bring in intensity. He's gonna get some points and he's gonna distribute the ball. And LeBron won't have that entire load. Uh, he won't have to carry that. He won't have to get this 16 assists. He can focus more on scoring. And hopefully Rondo is going to be back on Thursday. But he's going to bring that intensity. Quinn Cook can bring some three-point shooting, which he should have been in the game yesterday when Danny Green missed his like six or seven for three. Should have been in the game. Uh, Deion Waiters, again, he's a guy that can get hot. We need someone who can come off the bench and give us something. Kyle Kuzma at the beginning of the game, he made his first shot, but he looked scared. And he looked pretty much scared until he kind of settled in into the fourth quarter. But before that, he kind of looked timid to me. So we, we need a lot more from the supporting cast. And I'm looking for them to make some changes. We need to see Quinn Cook get some minutes. Rondo's going to get in the game. And Deion Waiters, hopefully he can hit some shots. And J.R. Smith is still a good defender. He's still a good defender. And he's another guy that can get hot. So you need to put these guys out on the court because if Danny Green is gonna to continue to shoot us out of games, we don't need to be playing. So we rebounded well, that's pretty much what we did. We rebounded well, but we didn't rebound well enough. And only thing that kept us in the game was AD getting to the free throw line and LeBron occasionally getting his run started. And it's strange that LeBron always waits until the middle of the game to start shooting when if you pass your teammates the ball at the beginning of the game, 
they're not hitting their shots, you need to be more aggressive and then let your teammates get shots from that. Because it seems that when LeBron and AD are on and they're making their shots and they're being aggressive, when they finally do pass that out, these players hit their shots. We close a 16 point lead like, like this. So LeBron needs to be more aggressive to start. AD needs to be more aggressive to start. If these guys can start off the game aggressive, shooting, both of you guys should be, you know, like LeBron and Kyrie, it should be 40 and 30. You have to put these teams away. You got to put these teams away because you don't give someone like this confidence, a team full of shooters. You don't give them confidence. So, like I said, LeBron should be getting 30, AD should be getting 30. They should both be getting 30 and 40. You need to be aggressive because the more aggressive you are, the more they're clo they'll close out on you and the more those shots will be wide open. And they'll start hitting those shots once they see that they have momentum. They'll be more relaxed because LeBron puts the pressure on his team, on his teammates to start off the game and that's not who they are, they're supporting players. Am I worried about this series, about losing? No, not necessarily. I'm not really worried. I don't think, I don't really, I'm not really threatened by the Blazers still. They can get hot, but I'm not worried about a seven game series. What we need to do is hit the open shots, rotate on defense, you know, fundamental things, fast breaks, don't try to gamble and, and like you're a cornerback gamble to try to swat the ball away. Just stay with your guy. You have so much length. AD just block, just, just run down and block the shot. Um, continue, to, continue to play JaVale, continue to play Dwight. They've been aggressive down there. I've liked how they've been playing. And I think we should be okay. Uh, we need a lot more from Kyle Kuzma though. 16 to 20 a game. I think he had like 14 or 13. Give us 16 to 20 a game. And if AD and LeBron are getting 30 plus, that's cool. But I think the gap is pretty much going to open when Rondo gets back. And I think Looking like it's going to be a six or seven game series, but I still think the Lakers are going to win. Tell me what you guys think. Diggy546, leave it down in the comments. I'm going to get out of here.